My name's Lance Corporal Denslow and this is military working dog Charlie. Charlie's seven years old and he's an English Springer Spaniel. Um, Charlie's an AES dog, which means um, arms explosive search. So it basically means he can search pretty much any type of terrain, um, buildings, vehicles, anything like that, and we can go and search for weapons and explosives. So I've had Charlie now for two years. Um, I picked him up um, at 102 Squadron um, when I completed my AES course, so I've become qualified to handle him and he was um, the dog that I got allocated as soon as I got back to regiment. Me and Charlie will only deploy as a team, so the bond's there, especially when it comes to things like when you're, doing, when you're firing on the ranges, you can really see the trust between the handler and the, and the animal. And when he's searching, he's just a big game to him, so what we're doing is we're putting all that trust into that dog and that's where the training comes into it. So he's been out on operations now a couple of times, um, different tours of Afghanistan. Um, and what he'll do is he'll just um, give that level of assurance to the, um, to the guys out on the ground looking for IEDs and the bombs in the ground. And that's his just sole purpose, really. I'm sure if you ask any of the guys that have worked with military working dogs before, like any of the infantry call signs, what they'll say is that they love the dog. It's that, it's that level of assurance that a human can't give or a bit of kit can't. The guys are just so much happier with the dogs being out in front of the patrol and got a dog handler with them. You ask him to do a lot of things normal pet dogs probably wouldn't do in this trade and he allows you to do it, especially that bond, and he really does like to please the handler. And I'm quite lucky with him really, he's good. Um, he really does work hard and he really, and he really does enjoy what he does.